dragons they have all a different time the time works completely different for the dragon a complete different way of, of seeing through time i mean um once the first time that i've, I've discovered this once i was uh once I was constantly pushing the dragon away in the beginning of my path and uh, my dragon took me along to show me the dragon realm and it was like 10 minutes it seemed like 10 minutes but it was the most beautiful 10 minutes in my life uh, once I returned it was like five months later it was what what kind of <laughs> I mean <laughs> I was returning I was even I even saw that I caught myself I said what happened that was one of the most beautiful things ever and I was so dis so surprised after living like I don't know like a zombie I think uh, saying to nothing to no one um, and then later on I said to everyone the dragon is real the dragon is real but of course no one took me serious because I wasn't even clearing my head I wasn't even thinking straight anymore because of what I saw in this 10 minutes even though it seemed like five minutes um, the other times that I discovered actually that uh, for the dragon time works differently is once I discovered that actually the dragon knows everything about you and what is going to happen. Uh, that it's like a, a fixed timeline and they are they know somewhat what is going to happen. So for example, um, like my dad was driving too fast and, I, and I, I really had this voice of the dragon saying, let him slow down because wild boar is going to cross the street. I said I said to him, uh, slow down, wild boar is going to cross the street. And he said, oh, okay, I'm going to slow down, but how do you know about this wild boar? And at that moment, you can see a whole family of wild boar crossing the street. It was like, and my, my dad was looking at me like, oh, you are a witch. I said, yes, of course I am a witch, <laughs> of course. But uh, he was looking at me like I was some kind of a demon or something like this. Um, but yeah, it, I just want to say, the dragon for the dragon, Time works differently and there is a lot more to it because of this. They can go back in time, they can go to later in time, they can go completely way in time or later later in time, they actually know everything. It's not like they are some kind of a god that is going, that they created everything, but no, they can see through time they can see what is going to happen and that is also that they know everything about you that is also the reason why they can come to you the dragon has powers and this power as well as controlling time controlling time sometimes that they can go back in time and make something right but what i made what i also discovered um is for example that your relationship with the dragon can be literally everything because of this for example, your dragon can be your friend. Your dragon can be your parent. Your dragon, like, like they can feel, of course. L how, and that is also very interesting. Uh, let, um, to know how your dragon feels like. How does your dragon feel like that? Do they feel like your parent? Do they feel like a friend? Do they feel like uh, a, a lover? Do they feel like... Uh, what kind of a feeling do you have once you are close to your dragon? What kind of a feeling? What, what is your emotion saying? What is your gut saying? Once you are close to your dragon, once you think about dragons even, what is your emotion? What is your feeling? Very interesting and very important to know what kind of a relationship that you have. And that is also something that I discovered, that your relationship can be everything. Like even that they can feel like your child. That, they, that your dragon by your side can feel like your child. And it, that is actually very amazing how does that happen how this how can this happen because like i said time works differently and once you are gone you are going on, on in this physical realm here as a human being but your spirit can be very draconic and your spirit can be very eternal as well so it can be that your spirit already had a life before then especially a draconic life before that you left something behind in a different timeline you left something behind that yeah, it could be that your dragon by your side is that it can feel so much like your child that you, that you want to to protect your child that you it, it feels very very strong that you this connection with your dragon that feels like your child that you want to protect because a dragon is even to this day legendary how they protect their children especially their mothers that that the dragon is being the guardian of their their children and that is the feeling that you still have 
this urge to protect them once your dragon is close by. It's a very, very strong feeling. And that is also how I discovered as well how, uh, how different time can work for the dragon. They can go back in it, they can go further in it. And that is how sometimes you can see some kind of a, like deja vus or um, that you can uh, see things that is going to happen sometimes. That is, uh, yeah, like some kind, yeah. Some people can do this. Some people have this gift. Then sometimes people say, ah, oh, uh, please say the, the future for me. But that is not how it happens. The dragon will say the future to you once it's really important that it has to change something. Maybe that your life is in danger like my was. And then your dragon is saying to you, screaming at you, there is something going to happen. And that is what really happened with me as well. And that was uh, very interesting actually. <laughs> To, know, to learn how different time can be and to learn what kind of a relationship that you can have because of this with your dragon. Your relationship with the dragon can be everything. That is why it's very important to know what kind of relationship that you have. What, where does your love for the dragon come from? Where does your love come from? How does, how does it work? Why do you love the dragon so much? Because maybe your draconic energy had a life before and maybe this connection with your dragon is this lifetime that you still have inside of you. That it's going to be awakened, that it's going to be up, opened up. And that is what you have to learn, that is what you have to discover. Of course, you don't have to learn about this right now at this moment, because I've seen this a lot of times, a lot of people are awakened. What, what's next? What's next? No, let some time go over it. Because like I said, there is a lifetime that is inside of you. This, this inside, there is a power, a connection with your dragons that is so powerful that even death cannot erase it. So let it just go with, the, with, with your life. Maybe you can discover things. Maybe there are going to be much more awakenings if you see and feel much more inside of the, your daily life. That is also what happens to me. Um, what happened to me. That I, in fact, wanted to know everything as well. But in fact, I just let everything go with my, with my life, with, with my daily life. And inside of this daily life, I discovered so much more. And this is also what we can discover as well. This, <laughs> this spirit, this soul, this what we, what, we, what we have inside of us, has, yeah, it's, it's also a different time that it can have. It can have a complete different time. You can have so much powers that are that is very much unlocked. But yeah, that is what also what I want to say. The dragon can, you know, in in many cases, control time. They can control time and they can do everything. But they don't do this for fun. They don't. They don't do this whenever they want to. Of course, this is going to be difficult for them as well. A difficult moment, a difficult something to do. This is eventually also a manipulation of nature, something that is, is not really allowed. Just like magic, magic manipulation is actually not really that allowed. But with draconic energies, you can do this. And in just in breaking through time, going back, going forth, is actually also something very difficult for the dragon. But once it has to happen, it happens. And so, yeah. Your relationship, because of this, can be so much, can be so everything. So think wide whenever you have feelings for your dragon, what kind of a feelings that you have. So, and in this time, this, this, this different time that the dragon has, like I said, 10 minutes, yet it was five months. It was the first signs of the sea, how the dragon realm in itself is so different. And also the void, the void in itself, the void is very, very different and there is a spider on my hand and that is very big. <sighs> oh my goodness, oh, saved. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, sorry. Um, I just want to say that whenever you have dreams about the dragon, whenever you have visions about the dragon, whenever even it can be that your life, that, you, that your dream, that your vision is going to last a lifetime. And it's going to last so, so much or maybe it's just very short, it could be. Uh, that is because it's completely different. Time works differently. And whenever you are whenever you are trying to connect with your dragons, it can be that your dragon is affecting your time as well. Yeah, 
how precisely time works for them is not something that I know, but it works differently. It's not how we live. It's not grow, growing old and die like we, uh, like we are living now for the dragon. Time works completely different.